cleaning of your Dynaflex Herbst. You will use a soft bristle toothbrush, which has been provided to you, and soft soap or a gel toothpaste. There are more gel toothpaste options available in the pediatric toothpaste area. You're going to take your toothpaste or soap and put it on your soft bristle toothbrush, water, and brush inside where it is in contact with your teeth. Then move to the outside and brush all metal parts. Make sure that when you're cleaning your device, you do not hold it like this. When you hold it like this, you put pressure here and here, which creates force here and an opportunity to break. Make sure you're holding your device with two fingers. This is to be done daily. On a weekly basis, you will use a cleaning tablet in warm water so that the tablet can dissolve. These can be found at your local grocery store. And then once the warm water has cooled down, you can put your device in the water to soak for 15 minutes. This is to be done on a weekly basis so that it can freshen up your device. Adding elastics to your Dynaflex Herbs. Locate where the elastics will be added on your elastic hooks. You're going to take the elastic that's been provided to you by your doctor and hook it from the top arch to the bottom arch on both sides. These are to be changed out on a weekly basis for optimal strength. What this does is help keep your mouth closed so your device works to its maximum potential. Titration of your Dynaflex Herbst. Have your device how you're going to place it into your mouth and then locate the right side of your device. Face the right side of your device Take note that you have a bolt that connects the arm to your upper arch, a bolt that connects your arm to your lower arch. This is the arm of your device. You have pinhole titration holes on your nut. This is what we will be turning. You're going to take your key that we have provided to you, insert it directly into the keyhole that is in the middle of the arm. And you're going to turn a 90 degree angle towards the big red dot. The dot on the right hand side is on the upper arch. So 90 degrees upward. This is one turn. You're going to then Take the key, insert it again into the middle titration hole, and two turns. You would do the turns according to the schedule the doctor has given to you. Make sure that you go to the other side, the left side of your device. Sandwich the device together so that it does not move on you. Take your key insert it into the middle keyhole and turn 90 degrees in the direction of the big red dot. Right here, it's on the lower arch on the left hand side. Make sure you complete an even amount of turns on both sides of your device so that it comes out forward and evenly according to the schedule your doctor has given you.